everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. Today's video is sponsored by Function and Beauty. We'll be talking about them just a little bit later on in the video. So uh, yeah, some of you all might have been noticed that I have been gone for longer periods of time than I would like to. I've just been in quite the, the, the funk. Um, I am trying to work through it though so I can post more for you guys, but today we have a video that just... Uh, let me, just, let me just show you guys what we're going to be doing today. I'm sure you've already read it by the title, but um, we're going to be getting into this box here. Now, because some of you have probably already read the title, you might be confused as to what you're seeing. Uh, to many of you, this likely doesn't look like an Ipsy Ultimate box. It looks like a cardboard box that was once soaking wet. Uh, and you, oh, you'd be right. As I've noted multiple times, uh, for some reason, every mail delivery unit out there just absolutely hates me. And uh, this is how my FC Ultimate box came. <laughs> Typically my boxes are like smushed or smashed or like tape back together, but this one I guess was so beyond repair that they just threw everything in a cardboard box. And I'm not sure if you guys can see like this little like pink frame down here around the shipping logo. Yeah, they surgically removed a piece of my actual Ipsy Ultimate box and then taped it to the bottom. So yeah, let's just dive right on into my big cardboard box of stuff here. Is everything actually inside this box? I was, whoa. Maybe it's time to finally change that light bulb. Just a suggestion though. Uh, that was supposed to be in here? I have absolutely no idea. Okay, the very first item is the bag for the Ipsy Ultimate. And I do actually like this bag. It's like quilted and soft and pillowy filling. It just has a little Ipsy logo there on the side. And I feel like this would hold quite a bit of stuff. So I like this. Oh yeah, I, it has been a while since I filmed, hasn't it? I didn't tell you guys anything about this box. So the Ipsy Ultimate is an upgrade to your current Ipsy subscription. This box costs $50 a month and inside you're supposed to get 12 products, eight of the, eight of those? Full size and four of them other. So the first actual product we have in here is from Grace and Stella. Uh, the, <laughs> this is the This Rose Ain't Thorny Rose Roller Rose Quartz Facial Massager. Ow. Uh, this one's super duper pretty. It is a nice like rose color because like rose quartz. It looks like I'm like rolling out dough. Um, but these do feel really good. I think there's something about like draining your lymph nodes or s s science. Next, I am already detecting a theme here. This is the Pacifica Rose Water Makeup and Removing Wipes with rose and coconut oil. Um, I'm hoping there aren't like 15 different rose scented things inside this box because I am not a fan of rose at all. There are 10 little wipes in this guy, so I'm gonna assume that this is in the other category and not full size. I also will probably pass these along to somebody else because the smell of rose just makes me want to like the next thing we have in here is from Feel Harmony, and this is a rose petal facial mask. It's an ultra concentrated toning gel. And when they say rose petal, I'm wondering if there's just like big old hunks of rose in here or Ew. Like I understand that when flowers like aren't growing out the ground anymore, you you pick off their petals and they're not gonna stay like nice and red and pretty, but this looks <laughs> Uh, I might be passing this also along to somebody else because holy guacamole. Actually, this looks kind of like ruined guacamole. That is an incredibly strong rose smell. It has rose petals, rose essential oils, and rose flower extracts in it. And oh boy, you can smell them all. Dang on Valentine's Day. Why do roses have to be like such a thing? Okay, the next thing we have in here are a pack of little brushes. These are from China B Miami. I don't know what kind of hand gymnastics that was just then, but that's just gonna, there's another one over there. Here are the brushes. They don't feel like anything super special. I mean, they're decently soft. I have to say that I'm typically not like a huge fan of the brushes that we receive in like Ipsy and BoxyCharm, unless they're like Luxie brushes. I really like Luxie brushes. To me, they just always kind of feel a little bit on like the chintzier side. This one, however, I really like the shape of. I think that would be a nice blending brush. Okay, next up, uh, this open package here. 
here. Uh, it looks like it got maybe a little crushed along the way. I would really just love to know the series of events that led to my box being so destroyed they couldn't put the stuff back into it. That'd be fun. This is from Trey Steak. This is the All Over Starlighter Powder Stick in the shade Ultraviolet. Again, Trey Steak always has like, it just looks like the, the tip end of a pencil. Yeah, this looks very familiar. It has kind of like a duochrome glow to it. Very violet-y, but I think it also kind of has like maybe a bluish green shift. Before the next item, really quick, as I mentioned earlier, today's video is sponsored by Function of Beauty. As many of you know, I have been really trying to improve the health of my hair recently, and Function of Beauty is helping me out quite a bit with that. It's super duper hard to find a shampoo and conditioner that fit your specific hair needs. It is really easy to get your customized formula. All you have to do is fill out a two minute quiz. That'll ask you about your hair type, your goals, and your preferences, and that's pretty much all you have to do. There's absolutely no parabens, sulfates, GMOs, toxins, and it's cruelty free and vegan. For me personally, here is my shampoo and conditioner. The pumps make it super duper easy to use in the shower. I chose the peach and mandarin fragrances along with a lovely orange color because I thought that would be appropriate for the fragrance and I want peaches. Um, this one's still a little wet because I used it today. I use it every day. My current hair goals are to strengthen my hair and deep condition it and I really think my hair is already getting like softer and stronger. I've also really been enjoying the leave-in treatment which is 100% customizable and ships with any order. So if you guys would also like to give Function of Beauty a try, you can use the link down below for 20% off your very first order. All right, the next thing you have in here is from Polar. This is a La Vertebelle Cream de la Pony lip balm. I don't know what any of that means. It feels pretty nice, just kind of like a standard balm, but it has almost kind of like a, an herbaly taste to it. Okay, next in here we have a tiny little tube. This is the Khaleesi. Isn't that that dragon lady from Game of Thrones? Anyway, this is the Better Bean Clean Face Coffee Cleanser. Ooh, coffee. I can get behind the use of coffee in like almost any aspect of life. I wonder if it smells like coffee. Nah, I shoved it almost fully up my nostril and I didn't detect any coffee scent, but I know the coffee is like good for your skin. Like energizing it or something. Okay, next we have an already pre-opened package. That's so kind of them to go ahead and like pre-open stuff for me so I don't have to do it myself. It also looks like it's been run over a little bit and ripped open. This is from Folly Fire, which I've never heard of before. This is the Matte Manipulation Creamy Matte Lipstick in the shade Sunset Boulevard. It kind of has that very like cheapy outer plastic feel to it with a little logo on top. Uh, the, the lipstick itself definitely has a very like waxy scent to it. It's in this like mauvey pink color. Oh, it actually went on pretty creamy though. It doesn't look like super duper matte to me, but um, at least it's pretty pigmented. Okay, next up here we have another uh, kind of smooshed little box. This is from Douce. This is the Punk Volumizer Mascara. Oh, I think I have one of these. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Fairly certain I have one of these somewhere. Again, just no idea where. Okay, next in here we have the Catherine, I don't, I don't know what that was. Malandrino Dream. Uh, oh, it's a perfume. I feel like there's a lot of brands I haven't actually heard of before in this box. Let's give her a little spritz and a sniff. Musky. Vanilla? Sandal? I don't, I don't know. Okay, next up we have something from Nature's Cartel. I'm pretty sure I've received something from them before. I just think that's just such a strange name. Oh, uh, there's a rainbow. Ooh, there's actually three things in here. It looks like we have some little individual eyeshadows. I have the shade tan line. Don't know what that is. Champagne Scandal and then 90s Nude. The heck? What are these? Oh, okay. They are cream eyeshadows. They look very, very metallic. Oh, okay. So not crazy metallic, but they did go on pretty creamy and pretty pigmented. And then the last thing in here, the thing I'm most excited about for sure, this is a little palette from Violet Voss. This is the Berry Burst Fun Size Eyeshadow Palette. This is just a small version of a Violet Voss palette, which I do like several Violet Voss palettes, so hopefully this will be good too. So the little card that came with it does not give any of the actual pricing. I personally don't enjoy that. I like knowing exactly what the value of each of the items is so I can determine if it's worth it for the box. But even not knowing the prices for everything, this definitely was not my favorite box. Um, I don't know why, it's just... Yeah, this one wasn't super impressive to me. I'm sure like monetary value wise, it was worth the 50 bucks, but like, I don't know. This was just not my favorite box. There's a lot of brands that I've never heard of in here and the items just weren't really, not really my personal thing, but I would love to know what you guys think. All right guys, well, I guess it's time to try this stuff on. That's why my face has looked like this the entire time, by the way, if I failed to mention that. So I've been bare faced this whole time so I could do a try on, but there's, there's really not that much to try on. We have three cream eyeshadows 
shadows, an eyeshadow palette, mascara, and a lipstick. So I guess I'm just gonna do my entire face really fast, basically, and then come back and try out the eyeshadows. And uh, maybe as I'm doing that, I'll tell you the story all about Oh, I almost broke out into the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air theme song. Uh, all about how I think that I got on the crap list <laughs> for any mailing service. Have you ever just done your makeup and then at the end of it you're like, that's not good. Uh, I think I've entirely forgotten how to function, which does not bode well for this next part because eyeshadow is the thing I struggle with most, so uh... With that being said, let's just get into some eyeshadow. Okay, so I'm not gonna do a pink look because I feel like the last couple videos I've done have been pink looks and I know it's like Valentine's Day and everything, but like... The combination of cream shadows and powder shadows is something I don't know if I've ever done before, so... <laughs> Uh, this should go real, real good, real good, real good. I'm gonna give these brushes a shot here that we got in the No! Okay, so the very first thing I'm gonna go into is this, like, kind of tanny shade cheer. Oh, so I told you guys I was gonna tell you all the story of how I think I got on the poo list for, um, anybody that delivers mail ever. So, uh, I had somebody that I was, I was trying to do something real special for them, okay? They had something that they've had since their childhood, and they wanted it to be modified. So I was like, I got you for your birth Chris whatever. I don't remember what holiday it was. There's a motorcycle just idling outside because that's you, the good thing to do. Can you please be on your way, sir or madam? All right, so I had this all planned out. Like, I got their thing, I packaged it all up, and I shipped it off to like the company where they were gonna do the modifications. I'm using this next tan shade over here next next to the first one. So everything is all fine and dandy, hunky-dory. I used like the automated thing at the post office like where you fill out the stuff yourself which I found out was a really bad idea for me because apparently I'm just extremely brilliant. And uh, I managed to ship this off without there being the proper shipping address or return address. Anyway, it was lost in the mail. So this package, a very important package that contained a childhood memory, was lost in the mail. And I called the post office like, oh my gosh, but things are bad. And they informed me that this package was going to be sent to Georgia, where apparently all the lost little mail goes to, I guess, rot in some type of room and then eventually be destroyed. So I was not having that. And I went on a mission, greater than any other mission that I've gone on before, to track this package down. And when I tell you I called everybody, I called everybody. It got to the point where the postmaster general called me personally because they all knew about me. I was determined determined, bound and determined to get this package back and dag on it, they knew about me. So they called me, they were giving me all this information about where the package was heading, that kind of stuff. Um, by the time that the package ended up in New Jersey, I called the New Jersey post office and I was like, hey, I'm trying to track down a package. And before I could say any other words, the guy was like, Alexandria? <laughs> That's me. <laughs> they had heard about me. There's a long line of people that apparently somehow my name got funneled down to. And that post office in New Jersey knew who I was, but they were super awesome. They actually intercepted the package, then got me to give them the correct address, and they personally delivered it to the correct address, and yeah. But anyway, uh, from that incident, I figured that my name's on a list somewhere, and uh, that's the reason for all my packages being destroyed. I called too many post offices and talk to too many people for my name to not be on some type of list somewhere. And typically that's something I wouldn't have done. Like I can't send back food at a restaurant. I would just prefer to eat it. Like someone could say, ma'am, this chicken's frozen on the inside. Would you like me to take it back? I would just be like, no, it's fine. It's, it's everything's fine. But since it was this person's like childhood object, I, I just, I couldn't let it be destroyed in Georgia. It wasn't gonna happen. That's probably the most assertive gung-ho thing I've ever done in my entire life. But um, yeah, that's, that's probably the story of how all my baggages get destroyed. Actually, that's not too bad. I'm wondering if I just use some of this darker shadow here, like on the outer edge and made it like super smoky. I don't know if that was the best idea. Okay, so far this hasn't dried down at all and like the swatches I've done in my hand earlier aren't really drying down either, which doesn't give me much hope. Uh, I have very hooded eyelids, so I don't know if these cream shadows are gonna be things that I can actually wear because as soon as I put on any type of mascara or eyeliner, um, I'm gonna, it, it'll be double. There'll be a line here and also a line here. You know, that's, 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 that's my eyes all thicky. I'm just gonna go ahead and try out the mascara. I feel like a good makeup wipe coming on here pretty 
pretty soon. So let's just see what the mascara is like. Oh my gosh, my eyelids. It looks like I have a Vaseline on them. This might be like a seven coater mascara. I mean, it separates nicely. It just, I feel like I'm not getting pretty much any mascara on my actual lashes. The second coat is definitely better. Still maybe not as like full as I would like, but um, second coat I think is necessary. And then the last thing to top it off is this very pink lipstick that smells like Crayola. Let's just see what this looks like. Oh my gosh. Oh no, I bet that his lipstick broke. Get it all. Aunt Bethany strikes again. I look I, <laughs> I I look like Aunt Bethany ready for Valentine's Day bingo with the gals. Not my favorite makeup look I've ever done. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry for this, but I'm gonna get you guys a close-up. If I do, wait. <laughs> oh my god, I fell out of my chair. I got a comment the other day saying that you always look like a 50-year-old trying to make yourself look younger, and that's exactly what I feel like today. So astute comment. Anyway, so that was everything in the box. Um, yeah, I'm gonna stick with my original status on this box and say that I I am not super impressed. I think my favorite thing was definitely the little Violet Voss palette. Other than that, I don't, I don't, I don't really know. This was 100% not my favorite box, but again, I would love to hear all of y'all's thoughts and opinions. Please let me know what you think down below in the comments. And yeah, I guess that's all I have for you guys today. So I just thank you so very much for watching. Please go ahead and consider subscribing if you would not mind. It would mean the absolute world to me. And I just hope you guys have a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye! <laughs>